Hey guys, uh, welcome to this channel weekly and I am Narik. In this video, uh, we will be talking about an interesting topic. Uh, what is the difference between the fork and edge computing? So before we get into this, uh, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get uh, updates of latest videos being uploaded in this channel. So before we get into this, uh, what is the difference between the fog and wedge computing, uh, we will try to know just what is cloud computing. So cloud computing is some type of a computing uh, wherein we use the shared computing resources uh, rather than having the local servers. So simply if we say, if we say then cloud computing is that uh, taking the services and moving them, taking the services of computing and moving them outside the organization's firewall okay and we have many cloud providers like microsoft azure google cloud amazon web services etc so what is this new word uh, what is a fork and edge computing so we are hearing a lot of internet of things right so these devices are flooding the market now if you see the study if you see the studies and the growth of this iot's we are expecting around 75 billion of IoT devices by the end of uh, 2025, which would be very active. So these all the smart things would be talking to each other. A lot of data is being uh, exchanged and a lot of analytics that has to be done. So what is the problem now? The problem is that the distance between the cloud and the data. So the problem is that massive influx of data being collected from each device and this data has to be processed as early as possible so there is the cloud is a bit far and there is some solutions that has to be found out so the best solution is the fork and the edge computing so edge computing and fork computing are the two potential uh, solutions and 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 when you talk about the edge computing edge computing is a concept so what does the edge computing do? It has, it brings the processing close to the data source. That means the processing is done near the sensor itself. So the data does not need to be sent to a remote cloud or other centralized systems for processing. So edge computing usually occurs directly on the devices which I sp spoke to you earlier to which the sensors are attached. So what happens is that uh, the latency is reduced as well as the speed and performance of the data transport is increased. So when you talk about the fog computing, it is a standard and it defines how the edge computing should work. So the fog computing uses the edge devices to carry out substantial amount of computation, storage and communication locally. So the fact fog acts as a jumping point for the edge computing. So both these technologies can help the organization to reduce the reliance on cloud-based platforms to analyze the data uh, so that the latency is reduced and we are able to make the data-driven dri data division decisions uh, faster. Uh, the main difference between uh, the edge and the fog computing is that where the processing of the data takes place. So when you talk about the edge computing, it occurs as we already discussed, it occurs directly on the devices to which the sensors are attached. But when we come to the fog computing, the fog computing moves the edge computing activities to processors that are connected to the LAN or into the LAN hardware itself so that they may be physically more distant from the sensors and the actuators. So for the fog computing, the data is processed within the fog node. And I hope that uh, you guys understood what is the difference between the edge and fog computing by now. Uh, thank you for staying with me. We'll be coming with a new video very soon. Till then, sign out.